Hi, NR here. Two point charges, 4 nanocoulomb and 8 nanocoulomb, are separated by some distance in air. Fine. Force on 8 nanocoulomb is greater than the force on 4 nanocoulomb. No. This is the correct, incorrect statement. Therefore, the answer. If this is 8 nanocoulomb and the second charge is 4 nanocoulomb, if these two are like charges, positive, positive, then there is repulsion like this, isn't it? So these two are equal and opposite action reaction pair. Let me write action reaction. What is the meaning of action reaction? Forces are equal and opposite. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Let me denote this force by F12, meaning force on first charge due to second charge. And this is force on second charge due to first charge. So F12 is equal and opposite to F21. Okay. If it is not clear to you, let me explain a little bit. Let us find force on first charge due to second. Coulomb's law. Constant product of the charges 8 nano 4 nano by r square. Isn't it? Now let me find force on second charge due to first charge. Constant product of the charges 8 nano 4 nano by r square. Observe their magnitudes. They are equal, but directions are opposite. Direction of F12, direction of F21. So they are equal and opposite forces. Action reaction pair. Okay. You don't have to check these two, but still, since it is for practice, let us check. Electrostatic force is greater than gravitational force. True. Two equal and opposite charges are separated by some distance in air. Magnitude of force on negative charge is same as that on positive charge. No. Here also they form equal and opposite. Directions are opposite but magnitudes are equal. Statement is correct. Therefore, statement is correct. Therefore, so this is the incorrect statement. A proton perpendicularly enters a uniform electric field. The trajectory of the proton is parabola. Okay. Observe. If this is the electric field and a proton which is positively charged enters this electric field perpendicularly with velocity say u then this proton experiences force in this electric field as a result it gets deflected like this because every time the direction of force will be in the direction of the electric field so this is electric field and this is force this is force and path is a parabola Suppose the proton enters the electric field parallelly like this, then path is a straight line because force is in the direction of electric field, so this continues to travel like this, perpendicularly parabola, parallelly straight line. Now, let us see why it is parabola. Let this be uniform electric field.
length of the electric field is x okay a proton positively charged let it enter this uniform electric field with velocity u so u is initial velocity in this direction this is the initial direction because of force in the direction of electric field it is deflected like this so force on a charge in electric field is q into a which is equal to m into a therefore a is q e by m so we got expression for acceleration speed equal to distance by time so time equal to distance by speed speed is u okay speed is u so we got the expression for time during which the proton covers displacement x in the horizontal direction fine now i want this displacement this displacement is along y axis so let me denote it by y now s equal to ut plus half at square becomes inish this is displacement in this direction which is denoted by y initial velocity in this direction is zero because velocity is along the horizontal plus half acceleration is q e by m q e by m into t square t square is x square by u square x square by u square observe displacement is proportional to x square displacement is proportional to x square and this represents a parabola isn't it parabola that is why path of a charged particle entering a uniform electric field perpendicularly is a parabola two identical charges repel each other with a force equal to 1 mg weight when they are 0.6 meter apart in air g is given the value of each charge is fine so force equal to constant q1 q2 by r square okay force is 1 mg weight 1 is 1 milli is 10 power minus 3 gram to kg another 10 power minus 3 kg weight to newton into 10 acceleration due to gravity constant is 9 10 power 9 two identical charges q into q q square by distance is 0.6 0.6 square now q square is 0.6 square by 9 10 10 is 9 is 10 to 8 this 10 to 8 goes to numerator becomes 10 to minus 8 minus 3 minus 3 10 to power minus 6 so q equal to square root of this is 0.6 square root of 9 is 3 10 to power minus 4 10 to power minus 3 3 1 3 2 0.2 10 10 minus 7 20 to the power minus 9 10 to the power minus 9 is nano isn't it so 20 nano coulomb students observe you don't have to simplify this because anyway you know that we have to take square root since we have to take square root it should be 0.6 square if it is 0.6 square it is easy to simplify a point dipole 
is located at the origin in some orientation. The electric field at the point 10, 10 on the xy plane is measured to have magnitude 10 power minus 3 volt per meter. What will be the magnitude of the electric field at the point 20, 20? Electric field is inversely proportional to cube of the distance. 10 centimeter to 20 centimeter means distance is doubled. Distance is doubled means 1 by 2 or whole cube. 2 cube is 8. Therefore, new electric field is 1 by 8 times the electric field at 10 centimeter. 10 power minus 3 by 8. Observe the options. 1 by 8 is 0 0.125 10 power minus 3 so 0 0.125 is here if you rearrange you will get 1.25 now understand this little bit if this is the coordinate axis 10 comma 10 here is the point p okay distance of point P from the origin is 10 root 2. This point is at 10 comma 10 therefore length is 10 root 2. In the second case the distance becomes 20 20 comma 20 20 comma 20. 20 comma 20 means the new distance will be 20 root 2 see earlier distance 10 root 2 new distance is 20 root 2 10 root 2 to 20 root 2 means 2 times the radius 2 times the distance that is why it is 2 r students understand the problem appears to be big and level 2 problem but actually you have to take care of the distances. Since it is 10 and 10, 20 and 20, just distance is doubled. So, 1 by 8. A dipole of dipole moment P is placed in non-uniform electric field along x-axis. Electric field is increase. Electric field is increasing at the rate of 1 volt per meter. Then the force on dipole is so electric field is changing at this rate so to understand this x axis y axis let me keep two charges on the x axis so this is x axis this is minus q this is plus q. There is electric field along x axis. So electric field at this point is 0, assume it is 0, then force equal to charge into electric field which is equal to 0. Hope you understand this. Hope you understood this. If electric field is 0, then along x axis electric field increases at this rate. Therefore, force on minus q is 0. Now, distance between these two charges is 2a. Dipole moment is charge into distance between the charges. Now, what is the charge? Charge equal to dipole moment by 2a. Electric field is changing in this direction at this rate. So electric field per unit length equal to 1 volt per meter. What is the electric field at this point means? We have to consider this length. So instead of L, let me consider 2a. Implies electric field equal to 2a into 1 
is 2a now force on this charge force on this charge is zero force on this charge is charge into electric field charge is p by 2a p by 2a electric field is 2a therefore force on this charge is p if force on this charge is zero then force on this charge is p due to this increase in electric field download the app silver valley academy from google play store and get surprised with promotional discount 100 plus multiple choice questions are solved with shortcuts a complete package for neat and cet welcome aboard